Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode, where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck on ArkhamCDB.com for that investigator, and try to do the best we can in the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, I already set up the board, and let's see who is our unlucky investigator this time. So I have all of my remaining um, investigator tokens in the bag, so let's see who we get. And we get Daryl Simmons. So a seeker, no, uh, I mean survivor seeker this time. So let's go to ArkhamCDB.com and build a chaos deck for Daryl. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and uh, let's find Daryl and there he is and build a deck. So uh, Daryl is a really solid uh, so, true, true solo investigator, uh, but uh, we'll see what kind of deck we get. So I am not using the taboo list, so we just push the button and see what happens. So let's see. Okay, well. We have a weapon, uh, 18 Derringer. Well, this is an okay weapon. Uh, Daryl has a combat of two and can lower the uh, test difficulty. So I think we can kill at least some uh, smaller cultists with the Derringer if we get that into play. Then we have Archive of Conducts. Uh, never played this card and I think uh, this isn't that good. Uh, then we have Grimm's Fairy Tales, not that good. We have a lantern, well, this helps us to investigate. Old Book of Lore, well, uh, not, not that good for Daryl. Uh, Pocket Multi Tool, uh, which is a customizable card, but not that good without any customizations. Uh, one baseball bat, so another weapon. Uh, dream enhancing serum. Not the, the best for Daryl. We are not going to pl be playing a big hand investigator. Disc of Insomnia. Mm, could be okay in a pinch, but not that great. Moonstone, we don't have uh, probably any discard deck, so this is useless. Uh, Charles Ross Esquire, mm. actually haven't ever played that guy, but we have Jeremiah Kirby, so that's good. We just have to figure out our deck costs, so if we quickly, well, uh, we can't check it yet, but I'll check it before we start, so I know which uh, will I call odds or even when I'm using him. One medical student, so we have a bunch of allies, one sled dog. Uh, then we have drawing fin, mm, always a good one. Smoking pipe, uh, not that useful. Two copies of thermos, <laughs> not that good. Uh, too slow for this. Track shoes is actually really good in Daryl, with the three agility boosts to four, so could be really good if we get it in the play. One astounding revelation, not good. Uh, calling in favors. Well, we have a lot, a lot of allies, so that could be good. Uh, cunning distraction, uh, a bit costly. Uh, practice makes perfect. I don't think we have that many practice cards. Uh, Predator or Prey, so the new Dilemma card. These are interesting. I haven't played them that much, so I can't say they're really good. The Raven Quill, again, not that useful without any experience. Able Bodied, uh, that's at least a good skill card to, for evasions or fighting. Manual Dexterity, uh, I think it's okay. Uh, Plan of action. Well, this this is isn't that great, but maybe we can make it work. Well, that is the deck, so we'll just figure out the random basic weakness, and we get the dread curse. So we might see a bunch of curse tokens in the chaos bag 
this this run. Yeah, uh, an interesting deck for sure. Uh, I built the deck, and we see how that goes. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So I built Daryl's deck. Uh, one thing to note for the Raven Quill, I picked up so the old, old book of lore. So if we ever draw it, at least the Raven Quill will have some some target. But yeah, uh, let's get going. So we'll draw our opening hand and. Uh, uh, drawing thing, Dread Curse, which we will redraw. Well, we got the old book of lore, so one piece of the combo. Okay, so Thermos we are not needing. And uh, I think I could use. Well, I'm, I'm not really hot for drawing thin, so we'll draw two more cards. Uh, well, uh, Pocket Multi Tool and. Astounding revelation, so nothing really great. Uh, we uh, probably would have wanted to <coughs> find uh, a weapon for Daryl, just in case we we ran into or run into any cultist uh, too early on. But I think uh, I'll just try to get some clues and go from there. But we'll see how this goes. So, okay. Well, um, first thing first, I'll play the sled dog, and at least dump some some damage on the sled dog before we need to do anything else. And second action, we will investigate here. So Daryl has a uh, good. Uh, intellect of five, so five versus two. Uh, minus two, we'll grab this clue, last action. We will move to River Town. So River Town is one shroud location with one clue, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we get the Predator or Prey. Revelation, if there are no enemies in play, draw one card. Otherwise, you must decide, choose one. There are no enemies, so we'll draw a card. So that fizzled. Uh, it's a shame. I, I would have wanted to see that <laughs> do something. But yeah. Okay, and we'll gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. The first encounter card of the game is an Acolyte. So. Let's think. Um, I probably want to get this clue from here. Go visit the graveyard. So maybe we'll kill this guy off at the graveyard. So we'll put it there. And because we spawn an acolyte, we'll put one uh, evidence on, on it. We probably can't get the evidence, but at least. Let's let's use uh, Daryl's abilities. So first action, uh, we'll just uh, investigate five versus one here. Minus one. We'll grab this clue. Second action, we'll move to the graveyard. So this guy engages us. There are two clues here, <coughs> we're out of one, and we have to make a power test of uh, three versus uh, two, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to play the <laughs> Book of Lore. So I'll actually try to pass this test, because we need the, all the sanity we can uh, save in the case of Daryl's Kodak, or the Ruined Film coming. Okay, so we are 4 versus 3. 0, so we passed the test, so we don't take any damage or uh, horror. Uh, last action, we'll uh, able-bodied 
uh, hit this guy. So we get uh, three from here, so five versus three. Tablet is a minus three if you fail, place one of your clues onto your location. Well, <coughs> well that sucks. Yeah, uh, nothing we can do about that, so the cultist hits us for one, sled dog takes it, we're ready up, uh, draw the raven quill, of course, and gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. I think I misplaced one clue, so I have one, two clues. Yeah, so I, I put it from the token pool and not from my investigator. Okay, well, uh, we'll add a do. And count the card for this round is on Wings of Darkness. Well, of course. Uh, I'm not committing anything, so we're testing uh, 3 versus 4. It is a plus 1, so we pass. So. That's good, kind of. Um, okay. Um, well, I'll try to fight with Sled Dog. I should have done this last round, but well. Stupid me, so uh, 3 versus 3, and uh, we have no cards to commit to this test, so yeah, that sucks. Well, we could take one attack of opportunity, to get one clue, yeah, I'll, I'll do that, so let's back up, so I'll take one attack of opportunity, investigate 5 versus 1. Minus one, we'll get one clue, we'll get this evidence, and uh, then we will hit this guy, and use the sled dogs, and use the evidence, so we are fighting uh, three versus one, so a bit better chances to defeat this guy. Minus two, so we defeat this uh, cultist. So now... <clears throat> you can focus on getting the rest of these clues. I'm uh, investigating uh, 5 versus 1, 0, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. Yeah, uh, we get Jeremiah Kirby and uh, resource, so I think we'll just play Jeremiah next round. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Uh, encounter card for this round is Grip Chill. So I think the sled dogs are gone. So 2 versus 4. Minus 2. So we will discard the sled dogs. That's okay because we have a replacement already. First action will play. Jeremiah Kirby, and uh, I check that I have odd cards more than even cards, so I'm playing Jeremiah, and uh, we will pick odd. So that is odd, uh, we ignore that, that is odd. Okay, well, we got at least two cards, and we shuffle the rest back into our deck. And uh, uh, luckily, we don't have to resolve the ruined film at this moment. Okay. Second action we'll investigate six versus one. Because Jeremiah boosts are. 
intellect and we get an elder sign so I'll place one evidence onto the Kodak. Uh, last action will move uh, over here and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep, grinding and a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so 4 of 6 encounter card for this round is another acolyte. So now I think I will go to Miskatonic University to get those clues. Okay, so we spawn the cultist there. We'll move first action to the Miskatonic University. This guy engages us, we'll use the evidence to fight. Uh, we are fighting one versus uh, two versus one. And I don't have anything to commit. So two versus one. Uh, hopefully we can defeat this guy. Minus one, so we uh, defeat this guy. And uh, last action, we'll investigate here. So there are two clues here. And I will... I'm uh, six versus four, so I think I'm good. So six versus four. Minus one. We'll get one more clue. Oh yeah, uh, that cultist had um, evidence, but yeah, we killed him first, so we didn't get it. So nothing else to do but go to upkeep. Uh, we get the ruin field, so remove four evidence from cars you control. For each evidence you cannot remove in this way, take one horror. So. Uh, we can't do anything but take for horror. Uh, I want to keep Jeremiah still around, but that that hurt us quite a bit. So we only have two. Uh, well, yeah, we have. Uh, we still have four uh, sanity left and one on Jeremiah, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. So 5 of 6, so next round we'll get Mask Hunter on us, so we need to have a plan for that. And Crip Chill, so I think that's bye bye to Jeremiah, unless we succeed. I'll at least try to succeed by committing uh, Drone Team and Smoking Pipe, so uh, we are 4 against 4, but not liking our chances. Uh, skull is actually zero, because there are zero cultists in play, so there are zero doom on cultists, so we pass, so that's good. Uh, first action, we will investigate six versus four. Minus one. Uh, we'll grab this clue. Uh, we'll move up here. Two clues here and one victory point and last action we'll investigate here. Six versus three. Cultist is a minus two. Uh, place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. None in play, so we'll grab this clue. That is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We get the derringer and a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we add a doom so that uh, agenda advances and we spawn the masked hunter on us. So uh, the masked hunter is a 4 fight, for uh, 6 health to evade a humanoid cultist elite and uh, <coughs> it is a hunter. So it is engaged with us. 
okay, and then we get an encounter card, and it is hunting shadow. Uh, I'll take the damage. So I'll take one on myself and one on Jeremiah. Uh, first action, we will try to evade this guy. I don't think I need the calling in favors anymore. Oh yeah, and uh, we'll spawn an evidence on that guy. So we are trying to evade 4 versus 2. So it is a 0 and we evade. We'll investigate. So we will get uh, 6 versus 3. I'll go 7 versus 3. So we dodge the minus 4 in the bag. And it is a minus 3 and we don't fail, so we grab this clue. We also get this evidence. Last action, we'll move to... Okay, let's think. I can spawn four cultists with these. So we'll move over here. And that is our turn. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep. This guy readies. We draw a card, uh, Archive of Conducts, and we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, and counter card for this round is Locked Door. So attach to the location with the most clues and without the locked door, so I'll just place it over on your house. So there's a locked door here. Doesn't matter. Okay, um, first action, we'll spend two clues to spawn one cultist, Wolfman Drew. Okay, we will move just in case, and last action we will spawn another cultist, uh, Root Turner. Unfortunately we are getting the wrong ones, but it is what it is. The Mask Hunter will hunt here, we'll go to upkeep, oh yeah, uh, I'm spawning evidences on these guys, so um, I'll just place them on the locations because I will probably run out of uh, enemy tokens without that, okay, so yeah, upkeep, we draw a card, and we get uh, Charles Rose Esquire, and get a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, and counter card for this round is uh, Mysterious Chanting, so that sucks, because <clears throat> now we have to place Doom on the nearest cultist enemy, which is the mass counter, so we lose two turns. Okay, well, nothing we can do, so... Let's spend more clues and see what we get. So next cultist we reveal is Peter Warren. Well, of course, and that is the one that we can easily defeat with clues. But the uh, mass counter is there, so that sucks. Uh, yeah, so I think we need to... Move in, evade, and fight. Okay, we'll try that. So, um, no, we already spent one. Okay. I'll, I'll spend the, la I, I want to defeat uh, Peter Warren. What do we want to do? Uh, we move to south side, the mass counter will haunt us there. Uh, if we stay here, the same thing. If we go to the graveyard, we are cornered. But if we go to east town, 
Yeah, the mask hunter comes to Riga town, and then we need to get past Wolfman Drew. Not liking our chances. Well, we can. Yeah, I think I know what to do now. So we'll play the Derringer. So there's two ammo on the Derringer. And uh, we'll move to East Town. And there is one clue here. That is our turn. Enemy actions. The this guy hunts here. Upkeep. We draw Grimm's Fairy Tales and gain a resource. So <clears throat> my plan is to go here, uh, defeat Wolfman Rule somehow. And. Uh, then go past here and defeat Peter Warren with the clues and maybe then resign because we are already at 4 Doom of 8. Okay, well, uh, that is that round. Uh, we'll see how the game continues, so let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and come the card for this round is. Obscuring Fox. Well, uh, we are not getting this clue here, for, so that doesn't matter. First action, we'll move to Wolf and Drew's location downtown. So, uh, three shroud, one clue. And... Uh, uh, we can fight using the Derringer, so we are fighting 4 versus 4. And uh, I have one... Okay, so I have a slim chance of doing this, so first I will use the Derringer to fight. I'll use the evidence to make the test minus 2. So we are 4 versus 2. It is a zero, so we lose one ammo, deal two damage. Last action, we'll commit this and uh, use the uh, fire the derringer. So we are uh, yeah, we are uh, three, uh, four versus three. Uh, I mean 5 versus 4. So we're 1 up. And uh, we need to find a minus 1 to... Yeah, we need a minus 1 or better. Of course, uh, it is the auto fail. So we don't kill off uh, Wolfman Drew. But we don't lose the... Um, shot from the gun, but in the enemy face, this guy hunts here, this guy hits us for 2 damage, so we are nearly dead, An upkeep, we draw medical student, and gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round, we add a doom, so 6 of 8 on the table, and count card is Ghoul Priest. So the Ghoul Priest spawns at uh, your house. So we'll mark it there. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the Ghoul Priest at the moment, but uh, he's coming. Okay, um, could take a bit of a gamble here, kill off Jeremiah Kirby by investigating this location. So I'm taking an attack of opportunity from Wolfman Drew. So Jeremiah dies, we'll take one more damage. I'll just change this to a th uh, three damage. But uh, we are investigating five versus three. I'll go seven versus three. Minus one. We'll grab this clue and we'll get this evidence. I'm going to fight. 
I'll use the evidence, so I am... Uh, four versus two. So we have a pretty good chance to do this. Okay, <laughs> minus four. So, that changes things, so uh, last thing we can do is resign, because otherwise we'll get defeated by the ghoul priest or ghoul Andrew. So we will resign, and we'll drop our clues here, so that's okay. Unfortunately, uh, we couldn't defeat Wolfman Drew. Uh, if we could have, uh, last move would be here, next round, move here, defeat and resign. But it wasn't meant to be, so we only got three experience from the locations and no cultists. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, still, I think we had a good chance there getting uh, five experience out of this, but uh, yeah, uh, without a proper fighter, uh, the mass counter uh, puts on some pretty bad pressure in this scenario, and uh, you need to keep moving, and if you get hindered down, it's, it's game over. But yeah, hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching, and until next time.